What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bar. I... This is the third recording session I've done with this game, and I still cannot believe I'm freaking playing this game. <laughs> it's like, really? I'm playing SpongeBob. Have I really gotten that desperate for video games? But no, as I've been saying this entire time, this game is actually fantastic. I'm super underrated, and I wish more people knew about it. But I guess that's kind of a Let's Player's job, isn't it? To showcase video games that people don't know really play. So I'm glad to be able to finally do that again. Last time I probably did that, like played a really unpopular game was... Well, minus all the indie horror games, was probably um, Pitfall Lost Expedition, which is my first Let's Play, so that's kind of insane. Um, actually, I have no idea why I activated that. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to be entering Rock Bottom. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Is there underpants behind here? Well, that's random. Okay, we'll take those. I don't know if you guys can hear the ominous... But it sounds like a cave. Like the ominous cave sounds you hear. It's scary. And... Okay, here we go. Many scaries are within Welcome me. Welcome to the dark depths of Rock Bottom. Home of strange creatures and souvenir t-shirts. What the heck is that? We're just popping right up into the new enemies, aren't we? I believe they're called sleeping robots or sleepers. And they sleep for some reason. Why would a robot need to sleep? Don't ask oh, me! SpongeBob, I'm happy. Oh, they didn't even... Glad you're here. Believe it or not. I can't believe it, I'm actually. Glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. I'm not. The robots have <laughs> stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Oh my god! Oh, you want all that artwork? Don't Just steal ask it. questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. <laughs> oh, the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. Wow. That's actually funny. They made a stealing artwork joke in this game. Well, actually, it's not that unbelievable to think. Anyways, this level is massive. Like, holy crap. I'm going to get lost here for sure. How many socks are here? Nine. That's weird. The first gold spatula that comes up is actually the third one in the lineup. All right, so first off, let's go over here. The child. If we go over here, the bus comes and leaves. Oh, no. And it's actually not here. Which is weird because in the actual show, the bus comes from like where the slat robot is, a sleepy time robot. SpongeBob must be carefully near him or he will wake. So yeah, the, the bus normally comes from this direction and goes this way because you know SpongeBob wants to get out of Rock Bottom, but not in the game. Who even understands why? And when you hit these guys, a weird piano sound plays. Oh, that time did. What's that? Well, that was a weird noise. I don't even know where that was coming from. Uh, I might as well collect these while we're here. Good enough. All right, so yeah, the only way to battle these guys, actually, well, I could try throwing one of these at them, and it pushes them away, which is weird. So it's like you think you would be able to take them. If you just try to run up to them, they wake up and they blast you. Um, so the best way to deal with them, actually, is to literally sneak up to them. Still get the red thing to show that you're in the area, but as long as you're not too loud, you can see him after him, and BAM! And you get a lot of freaking shiny objects for killing these guys, so that's pretty good. But definitely worth worth it, at least if you need shiny objects. If you don't need shiny objects, it's probably not worth it at all, actually. Um, I want to get up here, actually. And there we go. Aha! It's right. The restrooms. Um, I... What? I... <laughs> Another reference to the TV show. Anyways... I haven't talked about the music here yet, but it's fantastic. Okay, well, that's enough of the music. Um... It's kind of hard to hear, like, even I can barely hear the music, so I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to hear it. But these platforms, actually, if you walk on them normally, they just fall from beneath you. You can run if you want, like, they give you a chance to jump! Ah, oh, like that. See? Hey, it's bubble buddy. So, you can either sneak across them or just jump across. I don't always try to jump. 
<laughs> SpongeBob, True. the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find oh, another route no. to get in. It's the museum. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? <gasps> Could Ooh. work. But perhaps being sneaky would be faster. I can't be sneaky, let's be honest. Okay, so this level in particular is really like it's massive and there's also like a whole bunch of like hidden ledges like for example someone might look down this ledge and find one there i wasn't really expecting one to be there but there could have been so you got to be careful and watch out for ledges because there are a whole bunch of socks like hidden amongst those oh no nope. too fast because there's different speeds like there's that sneaky then you can sneak a bit faster and then it's hard to get like the maximum sneak speed without like waking them up see there i think that's about pretty much as fast as you're gonna be able to go Always gotta look down the ledges. Make sure you're not missing nothing. You're definitely gonna wanna grab this teleport box. Do not miss it. Um, if you do miss it, then oh my god, you're gonna be a stoop. And then you're gonna highly regret it later. Let's take a look at this area first. Whoa! Where's that checkpoint? It's up there, isn't it? No? Where did that checkpoint activate? Oh, over there? What? Okay then. Okay, that's a different teleport box. What happens if I hit this? Aha! That'll be useful later. Unless it's timed, in which case it won't be useful because I won't have time to get it. Alright, uh, and then there's this asshole. What an annoying asshole. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. So right now I'm just kind of looking around, looking for ledges. See, there's a ledge down there. If we can figure out how to get down there, maybe I will jump down there. Why do you shoot over there for? What? That's a better shot. You could just go down. Hi, Mr. Guy. Um, perhaps. No? Oh, wait. Although I do see some over there now, though. Does that lead it? No, okay. That's just the side of the cliff right there. That's the thing. You gotta be careful uh, to make sure you don't miss anything. This is very easy. This is probably the easiest level to miss stuff in. Alright, we do have to go find all these Texas swinging things. Whatever you would call these. Uh, you need to get out of here. See, like, like I was trying to say, um, most levels in this game are at least like jellyfish fields and all that. It's very linear, and there's a lot of places, like, or actually there's not a lot of places. There's only like one general direction you go. Starting from like, at this point on, uh, it's been gradually getting to the point where um, stuff is getting a bit like spread out more. Aha, do you guys see that? could jump down there it looks like but yeah now like starting from this level is where it really starts to like branch out and it's not instead of it being just a path it's more of like a gigantic field you have to find the exit to all right let's see if we can jump down here there we go all right first sock gotten there's another sock over there it looks like maybe it's a golden spatula golden spatula oh okay apparently you can fall through there i think the only way probably to exit this area is probably jumping off anyway so ah but now everything respawns all, although all the buttons you push probably stay um, pushed, I would imagine. I'm gonna assume that's right. I'm gonna hope that's right. I'm gonna say that's right. Ah, okay, we can even go this way anyways, because of the blockade here. Ah, and you can't jump across it. <coughs> There's an invisible walls. Oh no. Okay, so I guess we can continue this way. Um, if you can't tell by. The yeah, see, the buttons stay pushed. If you can't tell immediately by the fact that we're activating Texas things. Texas swinging things, then, well, yeah, we're playing Sandy in the solo as well. Sandy is the additional character you get to play. Uh huh. I wonder if it just alternates. Hmm, I never really thought about that before, but it probably does. Uh, do we, do we already get everything? Might have already gotten everything. Perhaps we did. Alright, then this way, doesn't look like. Doesn't appear to be. Oh, we didn't go. Alright, did we go this way? You need to leave, sir. Get your tartar sauce out of here. Do we go this way? Or is this just lead? Yeah, that's the box over there. Okay, we do need to go this way. However, this sign's pointing me to go right. Ah, see, I didn't even see this. The first time going this way, anyways, at least. Might as well jump up here, grab that. Oh, God, I didn't even see this guy. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, he even wakes up if you press B. You can't touch this. Da -na -na -na. Oh, but you can still touch this. <laughs> I tried. Oh, he even wakes up from jumping. What? OK, 
Okay, well, I guess we go this way. Anyways, the sleepy time robots are pretty infamous for being terrifying. I really don't find them that scary. I don't really see why people did find them scary. But apparently when I was looking up the- Oh god! The soundtrack to this game. A lot of people seem to find these guys terrifying. I don't- I don't freaking know. I'm too old for this crap. Oh! Oh, it did hit me! I was like, well, glad that didn't hit me. Ah. <sighs> this freaking game, man. But it's supposed to be right over here, so that's okay. Alright, so now we need to jump up here some- Whoa. You need to knock walk, not walk over here, sir. Seriously? Oh, I walk too fast. Sneaky snow. Oh, okay, okay, alrighty, okay then. You, uh, I was gonna see if I can hit that thunder tiki, but no, I'd have to jump to hit it since I'm sneaking, so the the sh tiki won't even disappear by itself. Uh huh. You? Oh God! Seriously? Ugh. You can't rush him. What? I thought I hit him. Are you serious? I hit him. Did I not? I could have sworn I hit him. But apparently not. Uh huh. There we go. Great. Okay, we need to sneak. Ah, uh, it's so terrifying. Why are you dancing? How come sh she doesn't wake him up? She's waving at me. Aw. Hey, girl, what's your number? You creepy ass. Creep. Creep. No, I'm sorry. I don't know. Beautiful girl. You're beautiful no matter how you look or something. <laughs> the Thunder Tiki's gonna. Oh no, it did blow up! Oh, that didn't blow up either, somehow. We jump down here. Oh, looks like we can jump down there, actually. Do I want to, though? I don't freaking know. Where does this take me? Just my side. Oh, that activated. That took down that wall. Well. You know what? Let's do it. Might as well, right? Oh, wait. Was it this way? No, but I'll tell you we go this way, anyways. Alright, wee! What? That was cheap. Come on, game. Come on. Actually, maybe we were. No! I don't know. I was gonna say, maybe we're not supposed to be down here, but. Yeah, they would make it more hit. Ow. Oh, we can get that from here. Alright. I was thinking maybe I could get over to there from here, but it's not looking like I can, so that's great. So I do remember doing these missions in a bit of a different order. Like, I thought this was gonna bring us to the slide mission there. It doesn't look like we get to there from here. So that's great! Those are floating? What? Where is this gonna put me now? Up here, huh? Interesting. Oh, all the way up here, wow. We need to get by this guy. I don't wanna kill him again, though. Seriously? Whoa, one of them died by itself. What? He's like, how did that sleepy type robot die? I don't freaking know. Ah! Nope. Ugh. Nope. Okay, we can't. Maybe we can't kill. I could have sworn we could kill these guys if we're quick enough. Just by um, going into the range and just quickly going to kill them. But maybe we can't. Maybe we have to be just close enough. Like, I'm going to get close to them and I'm just going to run. Like, from here! There we go. Got him that time. Alright. I was going to see. Is there anything else we can get down here? Oh, yeah. Would you look at that? It looks like. We oh, we can't get to the slide from here. You know what, we'll come back to this. Just because it is kind of out of the way. And we will be coming back here later on anyway. So let's let's continue on with the actual mission. And go oh, this away. Yeah. You're gone. You could do this. And that opens up. And it's time, of course. I hate this. Uh, uh, ooh. And yep, if you don't make- oh, oh, oh no, oh no, 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 oh, I might not make it now. <laughs> okay, we did make it. Okay, great. Now let's go and explore this area before moving on, yep. So, if you would have made the timer, that would have closed off again. And the only way to keep it open is if you beat the time. So that's a thing. Uh, we'll jump up here. Oh, there's a trampoline too. I wonder where that takes us. I'm kind of scared to jump on it though. Ooh! Sneaky, sneaky. Activating all the stuff for send. We haven't even seen a bus stop yet. Where's this taking me? I don't go this way yet, do I? No, there's more stuff to collect on there. Okay, let's not miss that, please. Is there anything down here? Oh yes, I've been down there. You can see by the open switch. But if I that if that switch wasn't there, I would have had no idea if I've been there or not before. Um 
I know there's a golden sock on our golden sock. You call it golden sock, so. Uh huh. Uh huh. There we go. I know. Ah ha This is the one. And we're up to 40 golden socks already. Okay, well, that was really lucky. I just thought, hmm, this rock looks kind of familiar. Gotta remember to grab that. See, that's really hidden, though. That's the thing. You gotta be careful. Like, that was a switch back here, right? No. Oh, yeah, it was a switch. Okay. Nope. Could be wrong, but I might want to wait on Yeah, because we need Sandy to go this way actually properly, so we'll come back to this area. See, there's so many areas I remember to come back to, and by so many I mean two so far, but you gotta remember. You gotta remember with my big brain. My big brain. Oh, great. I hate this part. <laughs> now, does that stay up? No, it doesn't. Okay. It's only the gates stay open. Oh, great. Although you can see with these lands, like there for example, bam, even though it kind of misses that spot. Uh, Alright, you don't scare me. Yeah, you throw your refrigerator safes and couches at me. Oh, we can't even reach that from here. Oh, we'll probably get we'll there in a second. And here's one of the most confusing parts of the level for me. There's ketchup, which, you know, we saw it in the um, downtown bikini bottom there. But it's so, it's like, why is it here? I just, this is the only part where it's in, and then there's those gigantic toothbrushes, which is even more weird because why wouldn't they just use rocks? That's what they've been using for everything else in this game so far. Now that's really confusing. Okay, I have two picture frames so far. Uh huh. This area was probably the only area I've actually been scared of looking for the socks for. So far, so good though. The one on top of the rock was the one I was most worried about because I didn't really have any clue where that might have been. Aha, now we're here. Do you want to switch to Sandy yet? I guess so. Why not? You're tempting me, sir. Stop tempting me. Alright. Now we're playing as Sandy makes things so much easier. Although, Sandy does attack slower, I think, than SpongeBob. And she's also... Her attacks are also a lot harder to hit people with. Ooh. Okay, that leads down to the slide. That's a folding pair of underwear down there. Okay, then. I was like, what is that? I thought maybe that was one of these Texas symbols, but no, it's not. It's not a Texas symbol at all. It's a floating pair of underwear. I mean, these are all floating. I mean, that's floating. But the difference being... Okay, you need to go. This floating pair of underwear is staying in one spot. The pair of underwear I saw down there was, like, floating all over the place. Oh, we have a... Hmm, which way do I want to go? Seeing the museum's that way, I think I wanna, I'm going to go this way. Since I think this will lead to a dead end! Okay, you... If you want to hit me, I want to murder your face, but I'm going to murder your face anyway, so that really didn't change anything for your fate. But, but, I love butts. Uh, Alright, I guess we're going that way? I have no idea where this is going to take me. Oh, no. Uh, no! <laughs> Bubble buddy, you don't know my... I don't know why I bubble on your head Damn. there. It's a bubble? It's a bubble in Sandy's head? I didn't know that, so I probably shouldn't have clicked that actually. Where does this take me? Huh? Was that always there? That could have been, right? Well, that's weird. It's really weird actually. Okay then, we're gonna time this out properly this time, so I'd say probably go about now. And do that. Ha ha ha! Not gonna fool me twice! There we go, okay. Alright, now we can go over here and get whatever spatula this is. Let's collect all the shiny objects first. What is this? 10,000 shiny objects exactly, nice! Hey, I'm so rich! Everybody is gonna be jealous of my look at her face and his freaking face. What what is this? Swing along spatula. Alright, it's like the singing spatula, the sing along spatula. I don't know, I tried. <laughs> That's all that matters. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, oh, are we gonna be able to grab that? Uh, come on, grab it! Yes, I did it. Okay, now we'll try going the other way if I can survive. Yeah, buzz off, you little pass. <laughs> I love southern accents. Ah, something about them. Sometimes they're actually annoying, but other times I find them adorable. Adorable. 
except the times I find them super annoying. Well, not really. I don't know. Depends. Like Reba, for example. Something about her voice is just no. Shut up, woman. I'm sorry. It's just I don't know. Her voice just bugs me for some reason. Oh, great. I hate this guy. There's been plenty of times where his freaking missiles will hit me. Oh, you, I hate you. You need to die, sir, right now. Go. Be gone. Off with her head. All right, and there we go. We have successfully made it to the museum. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. In the next episode, we'll first go and examine that slide that we saw earlier. And then we'll enter the museum. Now that we have the teleport box, it should be super easy to get up here. And, oh, we can even jump to the side from here if we really wanted to. And this box actually leads right here. And no, there would have been no way to get up there, as, at least to my knowledge. It's probably a way to, like, break the game up there, but I don't know how to do it. Anyways, yep, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.